Greetings, this is Ken Aldrich. I'm chairman of International Stem Cell Corporation and thought I would share with you briefly some of the thoughts that I've had recently upon, about developments in the stem cell and regenerative medicine area. One of the things that I've noticed from a lot of emails that we get is that there's a fair amount of confusion out there about the significance of some of the new events that have taken place. Specifically, I've gotten a lot of requests uh, to explain what the impact of the recent announcement by Giron Corporation that they had entered FDA uh, human trials might be. Well, frankly, it's a very, very important step and one that benefits, I think, everyone in our industry. And I want to comment on it a little bit. What that means is that one of the companies in our field has finally found the mechanism and found the procedures to begin the process of bringing cells to the clinic through human trials. So Giron, which is one of the largest companies um, and has spent an enormous amount of money developing this, uh, is now leading the path for all of us. So I think we will learn from their experiences and it will make the path to getting through the FDA a lot more productive for all of us that follow. There's another aspect to this, however, that is unique to our company, International Stem Cell, in that we have also realized that uh, the United States is only one part of a global market. And as a result, we've spent a lot of energy over the last year or so exploring foreign collaborations in those areas where perhaps the U.S. is not the most attractive market. For example, we're working in India with uh, replacing human corneas with corneas developed from our parthenogenic stem cells. The U.S. is probably not a major market for this because our systems here in this country allow for cornea transplants rather well. But in countries like India, as well as China and, and Korea and other places, the infrastructure doesn't exist to harv harvest corneas from cadavers and deliver them. And as a result, we have a wide open market there with enormous interest. And I think that's one example of how the international market will impact the development of regenerative medicine. So we're looking at that, we're looking at a variety of other areas, and I'm sure other companies are doing the same. Eventually, we're all in this boat together to try to cure major diseases, and uh, so we're delighted with progress at the FDA from companies here. We'll be following in those footsteps when we can, and we'll also be hopefully leading the way in some of the international collaborations that may make all of us better off in the world of regenerative medicine. Thank you.